some laundry now. Some people love laundry, some people do not, but it's all about reading the labels and figuring out what do you need to launder, what do you yes. need to hand wash, what do you need to dry clean. You're going right. to help us out with all this, Denise. I'm going to help you demystify it, and I thought I would start with a fun little game. Okay. Can we guess what these laundry symbols mean? <laughs> No one, the audience, everyone's saying no. That means <laughs> it's time to get gifts for Christmas. Right. Well, believe it or not, no. this one actually means dry in the shade, which is kind of random. These are very, this is a very oh. abstract one. You won't see this often. Dry in the but shade. But here's another abstract one. Anyone? Um, <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. Again. It's, use non chlorinated bleach. So, really? it's kind of random. I know. I just thought use this would be fun to show you bleach. very confusing ones. Parking, this is not right? for parking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, this is actually a dry clean label, and the letter inside tells your dry cleaner which ingredients they should be using. And then oh. the double lines tells the dry cleaner to be extra, extra cautious. So, oh, okay. when so you're you looking might have this for delicate, uh, delicate items. Exactly. Item? Very, very delicate. So when you're looking at your garments, that's the first thing you want to check is the garment care label yes. and what are you doing to it? Are you washing it in the machine? Are you hand washing it or are you taking it to the dry cleaners? Okay, most of us know what that that's going to be because exactly. that's going to tell you put it in the washing machine. Yes, so this right? symbol, know this, this little wash basin means wash uh, machine wash mm -hmm. and then you have different accessories on here like a hand means hand wash, little dots mm. tell you the temperature, the line underneath tells you to do it delicately or a gentle cycle. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing to do is look at that care label. And when yeah. you're using, when you're doing a machine wash, you want to look for a detergent that is compatible with what you're washing. If you're washing in cold water, look for a cold water formula. Right. This one, the Persil Pro 10, mm -hmm. um, it's got special enzymes that attack specific foods. Mm. So, you know, you want to look for something that is um, stain fighting, odor right. fighting, and l choose a detergent based on that. Okay, good to know. Yes. So, so, the other, so this means iron, you can iron it? Yes, so this is a little diagram of an iron, yeah. and what's happening down here is a steam. There's a little X through the steam, so you're not supposed to use steam when you iron oh, this. Don't use I'm steam. I'm going to talk more Didn't about Didn't you think that was a campfire? <laughs> We'll talk about ironing a little bit later. Okay. And then this one I thought was extra funny. I don't know if I, I know that one. Well, I think it looks like a little piggy or a little button. Yeah, but, it's cute. But the box means um, uh, tumble dry. The box with the circle is tumble dry, so this is telling you the temperature. Oh. Yes. So, let's, okay. so, once so what's the you, temperature? Two dots? <laughs> <laughs> Two dots. <laughs> well, the, the more dots, the higher the temperature. Oh, got it. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. You didn't know either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so now, we know, now we know what to do with what. Exactly. And when you're drying, you know, you can use your dryer balls, you can use your little sheets. Um, what I love about the sheets is you can pack them when you're traveling, use yeah. them for a little rub down, you know, add a little bit of extra scent. My sister likes to do it on her jeans so that she doesn't have to wash them when she goes. Right. Um, and then I also want to talk about difficult fabrics. So okay. you know whether you're supposed to machine wash, hand wash, or or dry clean. You're looking at the label mm -hmm. and figuring out exactly what to do. What about those difficult fabrics like silk, yes. wool, leather? What do you do so, to clean these? What so would you suggest? Silk, what you should do is hand wash it. Mm -hmm. If you shouldn't you shouldn't spot treat because if you get a little bit of it wet, it's going to leave that stain, it's going to leave the mark. Yeah. You should put it in cold water and just very gently let it soak for just a couple of minutes. Use okay. a very, very mild detergent, even a shampoo, and then okay. you know, roll it up in a towel, squeeze out all the excess water, and then you can lay it flat to dry. So okay. one of the important things about your laundry room is to have the good accessories around. You know, I've got the little ironing table, I've got the laundry sorter, the drying rack. If you have all those accessories, these ones are from Bed Bath & Beyond. Mm -hmm. It makes laundry that much easier. So I want people to not be afraid of laundry. Just understand the care label, understand yeah. what to do. Okay. Now what about this? Wool. It's so wool. wool, again, you want to be very careful with it. Ideally, you would take it, you would hand wash it. Yeah. Also use a cold water and then you're laying flat to dry. So, right. so you don't want to, with silk and with wool, they're very delicate fibers. You don't want to wring it. You don't want to hang it because um, it will stretch out and distort. So yeah. you're wrapping it up, you know, roll it up in a towel, very gently squeeze it out, lay it flat to dry. Nice. Leather. Leather, that's a tough one. <laughs> it is cleaning. a tough one. The very first thing you have to do is use a protector. Right. So that way, you know, it's kind of... Uh, 
prevents stains from, from sinking in. Mm -hmm. um, and then pick up a specialty leather cleaner so that you're doing spot treating. The other thing you can do is take it to the professional. So dry cleaners, they know what they're doing. Right. They know what ingredients to use. Uh, they know how to treat different stains. Definitely, it's okay to count on them for, yes. for your garments. You can almost pretty much send anything to the dry cleaning. Dry you cleaner. can. It's just, are you willing to pay it'll the money? It'll rack up the bill and it'll yes. take up all your time. That's but, right. But you definitely can. Uh, yeah. And just quickly, a minute left, I want to talk a little bit about ironing versus steaming. Yes. This is a little toddler. <laughs> this, uh, like this is, this this is a get them started iron. young. Right. Exactly. Oh, it's a travel iron. This, this is, is a travel iron thing. steamer. So if you don't want I to iron that. your clothes, you can take them to the dry cleaner to be professionally pressed. You can steam you know, do the cheater's way, hang them when you're taking a shower. Yes. So there are lots of different tricks if you want to avoid ironing. Are you a big ironer? I love ironing. Yeah, because yeah. you're a big sewer and you I have know. to iron so many of your exactly. projects, right? But I don't like ironing clothes. Yes, Just it's so annoying. Sewn projects. <laughs> okay, I get that. <laughs> Just clothes that I make from scratch. When do we use bleach? Uh, so you want to be very careful, especially on natural fibers and delicate fabric, uh, delicate fibers. You don't want to use them on technical fabrics. Okay. Generally, if you have like a cotton or something like that, then it's okay to use bleach. Otherwise, colored fabrics, you're using a non-chlorinated bleach, and that goes back to that triangle with the lines in it. Right. Yeah. Okay, I learned a lot about those symbols today, let me tell you.